okay a lot of things we're not talking about when it comes to the takeoff situation i see similarities in this situation kind of with you feel me when wooski got hit in the head at dooski the man funeral what a lot of people in chicago was telling me about that funeral was that wooski was really a hero they came at the funeral to protect other families and friends who was there and wooski got hit in the head while being low-key a security for his bro dooski the man's funeral so what y'all don't know what i'm talking about is migo band's name is being thrown in the dirt way too much if y'all don't know who migo band right here he is i don't know if he's migos and them cousin but he's definitely close friend of family and in my eyes i'm gonna be the first blogger to do this i did it on a separate video but migo bands is a hero point blank period you need a hundred dudes like him we're gonna break this story and what i'm talking about so you guys can understand before i bring this new update and information i need y'all to smash the like button hit the notification bell for me thank you for rocking out with the i smoke hip hop live platform it's a lot going on right now salute the pesh mayweather man go subscribe to his youtube channel dte is in the house salute to them man you feel me i'm not part of dte but i love them folks and what they do for the community shout out the big bank as well man go show some love man salute to the i smoke hip hop nation i am dj bless one now, Migo Band's name been getting thrown in the mud like crazy, y'all. Bloggers have yet to apologize in saying that he is not the shooter who killed Takeoff. They have yet to put out receipts out there like we have to say, leave that man alone. You guys got no proof he did nothing. All they showed of Migo Band's, y'all, was that the cops said he was a person of interest. The only reason he was a person of interest is not even because he was clutching a gun. It's just because they seen his face on the camera and they know he loves his people, the Migos in them. So when they got you as a person of interest, they want you to snitch on ba basically mob ties in them. They want Migo to tell them which person in mob ties did the killing. And you know, Migo bands is from the block. They rather get street justice, I bet you. So that's why they say he was a person of interest he had nothing to do with the murder of takeoff why would he on that video i seen him trying to make let's go to that video right quick before i show these other receipts on the video that we can look at that argument yeah let's look at it we can clearly see migo bands is only clutching to get ready for any bad situation he's clutching let's let's listen to it okay here we go. You see takeoff right there. I even look. And to the people who said Shakur Stevenson wasn't there, he's right there, y'all, with the hat, chain, and all. Shakur Stevenson, I still stand by the like the record shows. DJ Bless One is still calling Shakur Stevenson a fake ass dude. I will not be watching none of your boxing matches anymore. Nothing like that. You were right there at the moment this man died. You didn't have you didn't even have to snitch or nothing. But number one, you wouldn't got in trouble. You're a civilian. You ain't no street dude. So in my personal opinion, you should have talked to the police on what happened. Cause you're a civilian and a professional boxer. But even if you didn't tell on anybody, why not show more love for but I'm off that. I did a video about him already. Let's stick to the script on Migo Bands to show you how he's innocent. <laughs> Okay, pay attention to the whole thing, y'all. Uh -huh. You can see Mike Prince and Quavo, and the one with the Chucky doll is Mike Prince and them people. You feel me? That's I, I don't know if that's his son. We already did a whole story about that, but people are saying the round went right through the chucky and that's why it was muffled and that's where it hit takeoff we got videos covering all that just go to my playlist and go watch the videos we already uploaded it we're not going back with old news we're covering new news let's listen <laughs> There it is. And I can see Migo Band from afar too. All Migo Band was doing that night in that day was doing his job that the mob failed to do for the Migos. Does it make sense? 
all Mr. Ban, aka Migo Bans, was doing, I'm gonna say it again, he was protecting the people who really should have been protected by these individual right here. I know other bloggers don't want to say it, but why do you think Jay Prince was so mad at the situation? Because he knew they effed up. They screwed up the real bag, the bag of life that is. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but everybody want to tease Quavo for crying. I think I'll cry louder than Quavo if I lose one of my day ones, family members and all that in front of me. I would be having tears as well. A lot of you people are disingenuous. And it's not even the street niggas teasing Quavo or even people like Quando Rondo for crying. It's always some nerd ass dude, some dude who ain't never been in nothing. He's in the comfort of his own home, but he's telling other people how I should they react to certain situations i think it's disgusting to even say that but when they were looking at the heated argument before the fatal shots was fired everybody was trying to lie and say quavo got into it with his own people now you see that was a lie where are the blogs to diminish that so we're looking at the pictures here you can see shakur stevenson they already blamed him for punching quavo we did a video on that too don't know if it's true now the storm Monroe show had a guest speaker who was a witness I guess her name was Ashley she already blamed the mob and said they're the only ones who had weapons we know that's a lie too just being non-biased I'm being fair because we've seen other guys with weapons that's all I'm gonna say but she still broke the story and said it was not over no damn dice game it was deeper than that that part i do believe by now so they blame this individual over here i'm gonna say this guy's innocent all he did was just get arrested that night maybe for public intoxication we have no way whatsoever to say he actually is mob ties or he was responsible but people tried to make him responsible let's continue now you got a lot of rappers who ain't here no more you got a lot of people posting who's the actual shooter here you've seen images of the so-called shooter so that's why i believe maybe it was multiple shooters besides the two who hit um as far as takeoff just because takeoff got hit by two individual weapons doesn't mean other people weren't firing if that makes sense to you because it just means other things didn't hit now they're blaming cousins for it and all that but this man is clearly a hero in this situation heroes must get praised as heroes so i think Mingo band start, start needs to start getting praised by a lot of you damn bloggers bro it seems like bloggers only have f ish to talk about f ish to say but nobody will show your responsibility that should have been there which people were protecting amigos just not the other ones when sauce walker lets you know about certain situations and he said this hurt hurt we took a l you already know where sauce walker is going with it let's not cap so when jazz prince responds and says what you trying to say you incriminated yourself bro maybe not in the court systems or in the police system but in the streets you're basically showing fuck the amigos that's what y'all saying man you and if i'm capping when the last time you seen jazz prince or j prince jr says rest in peace okay that's all i wanted to say you didn't see any of them say rest in peace but you got videos up on youtube right now that's saying migo bands is just some you feel me guilty dude i will continue saying he's a hero for the situation migo bands clearly showed he was only in the situation to help it out but you got the likes of little cam disrespecting the dead and doing the most when are people gonna call out that the right way because i see people covering the little cam story you think he's the real life boogeyman you think if you bloggers act like if you say little cam name three times little cam little cam little cam pop goes the weasel he comes out under your bed to get you like jesus don't you people have certain weapons you're supposed to have aren't you people taking care of yourself it's kind of distasteful to do the ups and downs as much as y'all went hard on Migo bands will you do the same thing to this gentleman right here i mean you got mike prince and his kids being called out now the person of interest is the one who actually loved the amigos the most to see his name get th thrown in the dirt like that who's gonna stand up what blogger is gonna come out and apologize i've always apologized for stories i got wrong things i didn't do the right way i've always said sorry which blogger is gonna step up and give migo bands his flowers and tell migo bands thank you for supporting my family 
thank you for supporting the artists that we love and rock with so everybody spoke up it but i will be one of the bloggers i've never called out migo bands but i'll use my voice and our platform because it is our platform and say migo bands is a hero we don't care how y'all feel he will forever be a hero in my eyes and anybody else's eyes i wish i had 10 it's like the little tim situation I want to have 10 million Migo bands around me when I'm in the lion's den. Migo bands, I don't know you in real life, but DJ Bless One and the I Smoke Hip Hop Nation would like to give you your flowers. Thank you for being a real dude. All these dudes like calling themselves a real dude, but when that fire get hot, they run away and they never protect anything. You did your job that night and you tried your best. Unfortunately, we still lost takeoff, but you tried. At the end of the day, it's better trying than being a run tell that dude who knew everything that happened, but didn't stay to help it. I love you, brother. I don't know you from nowhere, but dudes like you always kept me safe. I will always tell dudes like you, man, I love you unconditionally. If you see this video, man, keep being you. I know you hurt right now. You ain't gonna respond to nothing. This can never be repaid because what happened to your folks take off will hurt you for the rest of your life. But DJ Bless One Lost Homies too. I understand, bruh. My heart is with you. I hope I see y'all at certain places in Atlanta just to give you a flower right there in your hand, bro. I love you, big dog. Blessings to you. Rest in peace to your cousin. My heart goes out to the city of Atlanta, the entire state of Georgia. Look, man, do me a favor, y'all. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking with your guy, DJ Bless One, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And most definitely, ladies and gentlemen, stay blessed.